Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Um, hi everybody, I hope everybody's okay. Um, today in the UK it's been again uh, very hot, we've had some really good weather, especially in the Midlands. Today um, I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts, July 2021 Part 5. Now just before I jump right into it, if you haven't subscribed to my tra travel channel, please subscribe. It's a red and white subscription button, plus I upload five times a week um, on both my travel and lifestyle. Absolutely love uh, talking about travel and lifestyle. And... Also, um, you can join my memberships for just uh, 99 pence uh, per month for extra perks. So, um, all those videos, subscri subscription videos and join videos, my memberships are all down below. And uh, today, I'm going to now uh, jump right into... Um, five fantastic uh, latest UK facts so number one Ruata US issues uh, do not tra uh, travel advisory for UK over COVID-19 the US State Department and the US Centers for Disease and Prevention and um, issued on Monday night their highest warning um, against travel to the UK. Um, again, it's not very good, but it's regard to the ri rising um, levels of coronavirus. Now, number two, the Telegraph says over a thousand people a day expected to be hospitalised, admit surging COVID cases. Um, again, not very, uh, not good. Um, but again, I hope. Um. Uh, uh, really, uh, things uh, get better, and um, sooner again. Um. And um, I hope um those uh, people that are in hospital uh, with COVID uh, do uh, do survive, I honestly do, um, really breaks my heart, um, but um, anyway, um, I'm going to move on to number three, which is also the Telegraph, um, who's uh, joined a press con conference remotely, uh, from checkers as um, sorry excuse me the telegraph prime minister has uh, joined a press conference remotely from checkers as he um, self-isolates um, announced plans uh, for the fact uh, vaccine passports for nightclubs and um, huge venues from September this year. Um, again, I c uh, can uh, really understand that. Um, really, it should have been issued before and, in my opinion. Um, but... Um, Moving on to number four, um, the Telegraph, more countries could still be added to the Amber List plus uh, travel experts warn. So again, any country that is on the green list or red list could be added to the Amber List or etc. So Again, as I've said, it said previously, if you have to go on holiday this year, then obviously you uh, you have to go. Um, 
and um, but um, I would rebook it um, and put it back um, in my opinion if if you can um, just to, uh, in regards to the re uh, ri uh, rising COVID cases not only in this country but over Europe as well and elsewhere and um, number five um, last but not least www.gov.uk travellers who who are travelling abroad are heard to urge to follow advice before they um, head overseas from the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office on uh, www.gov.uk um, again I uh, again totally agree, agree with that um, if you are planning to go ahead with your overseas trip then um, again check the foreign office and commonwealth and development office and check the gov website and there's all the information that you need um again uh, in my opinion still a lot of re uh, restrictions and um, no matter what country um you're going to go to um so, uh, some more than others so um, again you need to look at that um, but um, again I would advise going somewhere safe um, in the UK um, if you are wanting to go on holiday or for a day strip, trip etc. I would like to say thank you for watching and I hope you have as good day as possible and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.